Oh, my son loves talking to me. He's telling me how to get home. That's quite cool. Never had that before. At the end of the road, turn right and then turn left. Turn right. Now turn left. Sounds like such a geek. Turning left. Be good if you were speeding. Cause eh, you are speeding. You are speeding. You are speeding. Dalek. Dalek. <laughs> oh dear. I am the sat nav man. Second exit, apparently. That's straight on. So we stay on the left hand side of the road. Straight on. One, two, second exit. What next, Queenie? And now, car! What was that? So yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have a member of the family who rides a bike. I do. It's really annoying. I'm taking it, I'm taking it. Especially when that member of your family has money. Because you have the same area that you put your gear and stuff. Yeah, you have the same area where you put all your gear and stuff. And then... He's obviously just purchased tons of stuff because he's like, Oh, I've just made the money! Oh, I'll just buy myself some levers! Oh, I'll just buy myself a new helmet! I'll buy myself a new carbs! Which sucks a little bit. Like I said, you put your stuff next to his and your stuff just looks old and battered and looks like it just wants to fall apart at any moment. Uh, my levers are too small and he's buying the levers. And his levers are way too tight. <laughs> it's not right. And then you go to bike meets. And there's there's people there that have bought new gear as well. And you're thinking to yourself, what? What's going on? How much does that cost? Oh, uh, what? Right. No, I haven't got 400 quid to spend on levers. Oh, is this the one where it's just like it goes on forever and there's a lorry in front of me? That's no fun. See, I like this one because it just turns and turns and turns and turns and turns and turns and then the lorry slows you down and makes you go wide. Well, it's not that wide. So let's go and salute the police on the way home. Get out of that sticky situation. I had a lorry behind me and a lorry in front of me. Being squished in. Not the best of situations to be in. So when we're coming this way, we're going to come across some, some bikers. Some police bikers and they're doing a sting operation where they're looking at everyone's number plates and making sure that everyone's got insurance and MOTs and tax and all that sort of stuff. Apparently I'm in to keep right. It's nice having a sat nav. Why did I bring my bag? I was meant to leave my bag at work. Oh. So yeah, 
your brother ends up having all this flash gear and you're sitting there in your old piece of shit he's got a new bike that he's got on finance what do is I'll tighten that bolt there and it should be fine after that yeah he's got a new bike on finance and yeah it makes you feel like shit <laughs> I'm not ranting much but I am absolute bastard Yes, I know! Stop with the whole speedy speedy thing! I'm only 72! Oh dear. Right, 139.9 on that side, so that's £1.40 a litre. 139.9 on that side. Normally, they're two completely different prices. Normally. But not this time! Nope, both the same. You notice that, whenever you're on a motorway or a dual carriageway, the side that you're on has the most expensive fuel, and the other side has, you know, really cheap fuel. And you just want to go over there, you just want to pick up your car and run it across the road and right there. So for God's sake! Shall we? I think it might be this underpass. If not, if it's not this one, then it must it must be this one because Vange is the next one. No, it's not this one. Where are they then? It must be the next one then. Dear, a roads are so boring. This must be the one. There we are. There's a police bike around here somewhere. Police biker! Where are you? You're in a little side road down here somewhere. Where have you gone? They must be chasing someone. That's no fun. Oh, I wanted to say hello to the biker. There he is. Hello. Oh, and he does a nice little nod because he's a friendly police biker. <laughs> 